Hey, what's going on, guys? We, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. It's uh, Automotive Talk, David. Um, just wanted to make a video on this. A little short, little quick video. Picked this up the other day for, what I paid, 500 bucks for it. Not a bad little truck, uh, car. Yeah, truck. Not a bad little car. It's uh, got a little bit of work on it that it needs to be done. The, I already did some work. I should have videoed it. Sorry about that. Um, I got a lot of video coming up with that, though. The little Scion. Man, these windows are dirty. First off, this thing needs to be desperately cleaned. Pulled this uh, e-brake. No, not e-brake. The center console up. And look at all that nastiness there. Um, yeah, it's got a stereo in it. Nothing fancy, you know, factory, the stereo works. But uh, this part here doesn't play, uh, doesn't show anything. Yeah, let's go over what I've done already. So I did the clock spring, which is pretty easy. Basically, you go in, pull these two screws on the side here. If I can get to it right there. There's one there, yeah, one there. There's one on the other side, and then you got these two screws here, and then there's also one down here, somewhere, right there. And then, uh, you pull this piece off, and there's a bolt that holds the steering wheel on. You undo that, and then this piece comes off, and you get to your clock spring. And then that comes off with a couple clips, on the Vibe anyway. Which, by the way, this is a 2005 Vibe GT. So, it's got the 1.8 liter four-cylinder. It's the 170 horsepower, I think they said this one is. <coughs> it's also got the six-speed manual. I wouldn't buy this if it was an automatic. Apologize for the lighting. Um... We may get out and do a walk around, I don't know. I don't know how much in depth I want to get on this video right now. Um, another thing, this does need work on. Part of the reason why it's in gear, the e-brake doesn't work. You know, I can put the e-brake down, pull it, doesn't do anything. I don't know what's wrong with it. I haven't really got that far into looking at it. I don't know. Um, all the gauges do work, but I do with the keys. Yeah, there. Got too many pockets. <laughs> it's always a hassle. So the gauges do work. We're not gonna start it because that's another problem it has. It needs a uh, valve cover gasket. But if we can get in here and see where the uh, thing is there. There we go. You can see it's got 246,000. There's the winter wipers. I'm trying to get that sun out of there. There we go. 247,046. And right now it's apparently 37 degrees out. It's actually colder than that. I don't know why it says 37, but um, the air bag light was on and the horn didn't work. That was due to the clock spring, but that's all fixed now. Another thing it needs is the front wheels to be put on. They turn the back. And the backpack. And boxes. The uh it's got steelies on the front right now. 17 I think they're 17 inches on the front. Yeah. Because they're 17 inch wheels all the way around. Um desperately needs to be cleaned really bad. There's my phone. Which, yeah, I'm recording on a phone. I'm sorry, I haven't got new new equipment yet. Still working on that. Um, car's really dirty. There's the center console in the back there. It looks like a french fry. There's the center column. There's a steering wheel column. There's a valve cover gasket I got for it. Um, 
That's not a whole lot really to go over with this right now. So I don't want to go into depth with it. I did do some work on the butt on the XB. I took the uh, this piece here, which is the uh, wiper switch. Here's the old one. Here's the one out of the Vibe. I mean the XB. See, it says intermittent, but it doesn't have intermittent wipers on it. Um, so you can't do that. So it's basically, you just take this trout off here, and then there's a quick right here. You just push that, and it pops out, and then you uh, obviously unhook, unplug it right here, and plug it back in. You're good to go. So my vibe, my XB has the same thing as you can see on here. It's got the the wheel. Um, yeah, nothing else special. Really spectacular about this. Doesn't have an auxiliary port, which is weird. Being an 05, you think it might, especially being a 5 GT. But one thing it does have is uh, this here. It's got the power port. 100 and, 115 volt. Turn it on right here. Push that, turn it on, turn it off. Um, oh yeah, the heat only works when you turn it to there or there. But it's coming up on summertime. I'm hoping I don't need heat. Well, we'll do a little bit better video on Thursday when I do the uh, valve cover gasket. Hopefully we get that done. And then I have a lot of goodies and stuff that I'm not going to tell you what they are for the XP. Um, maybe we'll do some, uh, this summer we're probably going to do some detailing videos on this car. Show you what what you can do to make your car look a little better from home without having to go out and pay somebody big, big bucks. Um, does have some cool, cool, um, uh, storage space in it. It's got one there. It's got one down here. Not very much storage space down there. But. Nothing like the XB, that's for sure. But this right here is just nasty. I'm gonna go over how to clean all this and make it look nice. Probably gonna pull these seats too. Probably gonna pull the back seats as well. Get those out. There's a couple bolts there. There's probably one over there. Yeah, there's one over there. And there's one over there somewhere. Um, yeah. So that just about does that. Pretty good. Not a bad little car though. Runs, drives. I mean, right now it doesn't drive because it's a uh, valve cover gasket, but we'll get to that. Alright. We'll uh, do one more update later.